Hi, good afternoon. This is me, James Lee, and this is another sharing session by me. And today I shall talk about the property price index or what we are going to expect for the next three to six months for 2020. And today I shall give you some updates on the URA quarter two property price index. Now let's look at some of the data given. And what I what first I'd like to address to you is that for quarter one for 2020, the PPI index or the property price index has actually dropped by 1%. For the quarter two of 2020, it has actually dropped by 1.1%. Now, when we are talking about property price index, I would like to highlight to you that property price index is something as an overall data that does not represent only the selling price, sales price. It will also add in into the rental volume or rental pricing during this period. So we shall see the changes of it. One thing I would like to take note is that for suburban non landed private homes, which is outside central region or uh, outside the city center of private home prices, they have actually remained unchanged from this period of April to June. Okay. Now, if we are to look at this majority of bulk of new uh, private home transactions, and they remain unchanged. So, where are the changes? The main changes is that for the rest of city uh, fringe or RCR region, the price has actually dropped. And the basically is that due to this COVID crisis, the rental overall has dropped. So these two drop in terms of quarter one and quarter two drop of property price index are due mainly to the drop due to rental transaction, okay, and not due to property price. In some areas, there are areas that the property price has dropped, and I shall share that with you later on where this area has dropped. Now, this is the slide in which I was actually talking about that if we were to look at the core central region, core central region basically means it's a city, city central location like Marina South area in District 1, District 2, like Tanjong Paga area, or District 9, 10, 11, like Bukit Timah and Orchard Road. The price has actually dropped by 0.1% as compared to previous quarter. Okay. For the rest of central region, like the city fringe location, like Queenstown, Bugis area, or what we call the RCR, the price has dropped by 1.9% as compared to 0.5% in the previous quarter. And if you were to look at the upskirt of, of the city, which is what we call OCR, it has remained unchanged okay, compared to 0.4% decrease. Now, if we were to look at all these numbers, all right, basically, it has not decreased by more than 5 or 10%. So if you ask me, I feel that these are what I call market correction or it is affected not really by the economy because our Singapore economy is still doing well, but yet people are still buying into it and the prices has not been fluctuating much. Don't forget, in 2018, there are periods where the price actually shot up by 7% in six months and if you were to look even before that you know when they, the government come up with the tdsr that time it actually takes four years four years for the price to drop by around four percent okay so this is what i call a very marginal uh, drop or what i call market correction however is there opportunity in the market yes there is I would like to share with you this graph where I actually segregate all into the three different zones. Now, for the core central region, you can see that the price is actually pretty stable. If you ask me why are these prices uh, stable, is what I will speculate or what I will guess is that uh, during this COVID period, the Singapore, in order to help maintain our economy, your Sing dollar, our Sing dollar has actually dropped. Okay, and with a lower Sing dollar. For more foreigners will enter into Singapore market. That is why during the COVID period, we do see that more transaction done by foreigners. And when foreigners buy into Singapore at that time, most likely they would like to buy into core central region, which means the prices for core central region still remain very flat. Okay, if we were to look at outside of central region where I would say majority of Singaporeans will buy into it, this area has also remained pretty stable. Okay, has remained flat. Now, when it has remained flat at the time, what that to me there isn't any uh, indication. It just means that there is still a demand, there is still a supply. Hence, Singaporeans are still buying into the 
uh, outside of central region. What I would like to take note is that the rest of city, city central, which is the city fringe location, the price has continuously to drop steadily. So this is where I will consider the, the uh, market opportunity or it is the main opportunity for investors to look at. So for investors out there, if you are hearing me or you are watching my videos right now, do look into the rest of city central location. I'm not... I am not surprised, you know, when uh, when this chart is being shown to investors or foreign investors, you literally went, prefer to enter into this because they will be able to make more money as compared to the core central region. So I expect for the next six months, prices to either continue to fall if there is no demand or it to be remain stable or increase due to more demand, shifting demand from uh, the core central region and the outside of central region into the rest of city central, okay? And if you don't look at this, another thing I want you to take note is that the gap, the gap between the core central region and the rest of central region is increasing, which means it is more valuable to enter into the rest of central region, okay? I would still expect uh, rest outside central region to remain flat, and if this continues to drop further, you should be looking more into it. Now, I will show you a different type of graph in which uh, to give you some data. Now, if we are to look at uh, before the circuit breaker or during the circuit breaker period, it is very standard that most Singaporeans or most home buyers will look into the outside of central region. This is where majority of the core central uh, OCR or most of the transaction will occur. Okay, and then after that, we will look at the RCR in which there is there's a drop. And of course, the core central region will be the least. This is what I call normal, all right? Even for phase one, you can see that the graph is normal. But what I would like to point out to you is that after phase two, you will realize that for RCR region, the overall prices has dropped. Sorry, the overall transaction has dropped. And the overall transaction for RCR is almost equivalent to OCR volume, okay? which means for RCR, there's a huge drop in volume in which you should be looking at this, okay? Because since there's lesser transaction volume, okay, uh, the, then potentially may be something interesting to look at. Next, should you look for new launches, new properties, or should you look at resale? Okay, so this is very interesting because uh, this is the data that I'd like to share with you. Let's compare 09 as compared to 2020. Okay, now this is what I call the gap. The gap of new properties and resale property. And now I like to use this as a comparison. So let's look at RCR, uh, core central region first. Now in last year, last year, the gap between resale and new properties are 46%. So last year, if you were to enter the market, I'll advise you if you are like thinking of buying the CCR region, you should be looking at the resale because the gap is very huge, okay? And if you were to look at new sale right now, can you see that the, the prices from 2009 has actually dropped to 2006? Therefore, and the price has actually went up. So which means if you have bought inside the core central region, definitely you have made money, okay? By 200 or 100 to 200 uh, per square foot, okay? But right now, because the gap has increased by half, 50%, I would advise you as an investor to go in into the new sales at 2,600 per square foot. So if you are going to think of going into new, uh, to core central region, I would really advise you to get into new sales. Moreover, since there is still a demand for new sales, if you are looking at a very, very defensive strategy or maybe holding a property that is long term, for core central region has always been very good in terms of rental volume. It is very easy to rent out. Number two, it is uh, the price has actually dropped from 2009 to 2600. It shows you that there's a market opportunity there and definitely you will be able to make money. Okay. And thirdly, uh, developers right now are the ones who are desperate. Developers are giving very, very good discount. So with my three points of rental, demand and the pricing, you should be looking at new sales of core central region. 
if you are keen to know what are the types of properties to look for in the core central region, please drop free to drop me a text or give me or drop me a WhatsApp. My email and my telephone number is just below. Okay, but let's look at other areas. Okay, let's look at core that the RCR region first, OCR, because for OCR is what I call there is market of opportunity because price has been dropping. Now let's look at it. If we were to compare the resale pricing, the resale pricing has actually remained pretty stable, but it is the increase of the new sales home that it has increased. So for RCR region, it's at 1007. It has increased to uh, the RCR for new sales has actually increased to 1800. So if you were to ask me that if you are looking for market opportunity right now, I would advise you that um, to look for either new sales that is, be, that is in the old price of last year, that is below price, below 1700 or you can actually look at resale properties of the RCR region. Either look at here or look at here. However, just put it very clearly to you. If you were to compare these two numbers, okay, if you can find this that is 1700 I'll say it is a good job. But then again, for core central region, if you can find something that is 1005, 1006, and this, and which is a lower price than what we see last year, doesn't mean that it is a confirmed guaranteed return for you. Or one day when the market go back up, the price will still go back, shoot back up again. Okay? And if we were to look at the OCR region, you can see that the price has actually uh, remains rather stagnant or stable. And the price of the OCR region from 1390 to up to 144, and which means there is slightly a small increase. Therefore, um, if you ask me to look for market opportunity, what is the best that I can recommend? I'll say that if you are looking for resale, perhaps you can look at RCR or OCR, or for new launches, you definitely should look at new sales that is priced at 2400 2,600 per square foot and below. And for the RCR, you should be looking at the old sales price of 1,700. So even for OCR region, if you can find somewhere that is below 1,400, definitely go for it. So this is how I'm educating you on where you should go for, what is the PSF you should be looking in, okay? Now I'd like to talk a little bit about HDB to give you the confidence about Singapore market, all right? Now, so, for HDB upgraders, majority, they will look at moving into the private home segment of the OCR region, outside central region, okay? And let's look at uh, the HDB prices. HDB price has actually increased by 0.2%, okay? For the transaction between the, during the circuit breaker, is less than 800. For June 2020, it has went up more than about 6.7%, uh, sorry, 6.7% times more than what we see during the circuit breaker. So there is still a demand for HDB, okay? I'd like to compare with the June of 2019, which is roughly about the same. In fact, there is more. So I would like to highlight to you this newspaper article. So more important is we should be looking at the total resale volume. And you can see that the total resale volume is roughly around 2000 range, which is pretty stable which means during this period of time, there is still very healthy transaction volume, okay? And to give you some other ideas is that it has been the highest since the July 2018. When July 2018, there is a pan out demand of HDB due to the lack of BTOs. That's why the volume is, in, is the most, all right? Now, in terms of the units that has been selling the best, four rooms are the most popular units of 40% which make up the bulk of the uh, transacted volume. 20% is roughly by the five bedrooms and 20% is roughly by the three bedrooms, okay? There is a very small percentage of executive and the two rooms, okay? So why am I sharing this data with you is that uh, if you are thinking of upgrading, okay, whether you want to sell now or you, when you want to sell in the next six months, I do not think there's any big difference because Overall, the price has increased by 0.2% for quarter two. The price has actually dropped by 0.2% for the last month. So there is not going to be a lot of uh, changes. People are very realistic in terms of your pricing. So therefore, if you are going to ask me, James, what type of HDB should I buy into? I would say that you should be looking out for the four bedroom because this is the most highly in demand. How about James? 
how should I sell my HDB now or should I sell my HDB six months down the road? I would say that there isn't a very big difference. However, if when we want to talk about private, okay, again, it will come back to this chart. Should I be selling or or should I be selling my private property? It still depends on which location your property is in located. I would say that if you are looking at core central region or the outside of central region, there isn't a very big difference. However, if your property is located in the rest of central region, this is where I'm a little bit scared for you. Okay, if you have a more aggressive strategy or more offensive strategy, you should be selling your property fast. All right. But how about where should I buy? Definitely, this will give a, a very clear answer. You compare the average prices for, for this year as compared to last year. The thing is that for prices that has increased, like the RCR and the OCR, my question is that, can you get back last year pricing? If you can, that is where you should buy into. But if you can't, okay, you should be looking more in terms of the CCR region where the CCR region prices are more attractive than last year pricing. So I hope I have actually given you a good insight of this property and stay tuned, sign up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again. If you like my video, feel free to leave a comment or a thumbs up. Thank you and see you again. Bye.